hello aries welcome back i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for aries sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to flip and switch the roles guys i could be talking about someone else in your energy and also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit okay for your situation so let's see what's going on with you guys aries sun moon rising venus and north node spirit guys angels for aries what are the messages here for aries spirit what are the messages here for aries Please give me clear messages. Block any interferences. Spirit guides, angels for Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Okay. What else do we have here for Aries? Okay. Wow, Aries. Okay, this came on for Taurus. Moon was on the bottom of the deck with witchcraft and deep shadow work and all that. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have man. A male friend enters your life. A male romantic interest. A man will assist you. A man plays a key role. Okay. So, you could either be the man or this is your person here. That's the man. Okay, you could be the female or something. But a man is specific here. So, we have love. It says romantic feelings, mutual attraction. Someone has feelings for you focusing on love. So, Love is really highly aspected um, here in this reading. Then we have soulmates, harmonious partnership, a powerful love, soul family, groups, a bond that helps you grow. Okay, owl, deep shadow work, witchcraft or magic, inner wisdom, spiritual evolution, learning hard lessons. And then we have moon, listen to your intuition, intense emotions, deception, hidden truth, proceed with caution. Hmm. <laughs> let's see i feel like there's a partnership that's coming together towards that you probably don't see come i mean i said taurus mm. <laughs> okay you could be dealing with the taurus but um because i'm getting similar energy from taurus's reading but aries there could be a relationship here that is coming towards you that has been through the ring i feel like whatever this is is yeah it's, it's it's a lot that has been going on here within this relationship or whatever this is for some of you this could be new love but we're going to see we're going to see because i feel like you don't you don't see this coming or there's a lot of things hidden or going on behind the scenes that you don't see your intuition could be telling you something but you know yeah so let's see for love spare why is this love card here for aries please give me clear messages here for aries why is the love card here yeah, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo here with the sun and the hermits. But I feel like something here is being exposed. Somebody is realizing something about themselves as well. They're doing some, some inner work or something like that. They're in solitude doing the inner work to really... Um, I feel like somebody here needs to grow up, basically. I feel like somebody is, is coming into themselves here or really trying to find their happiness because they can't make you happy if you... You know, they're they're not happy themselves. So... Either this is you or someone else. But let's see. Why is love here for um Aries? Okay. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. 333 three, three on a timer. Knight of Wands. Yeah. So this is somebody here. Somebody's finances could be a little bit off. Okay. Or maybe a lot of bit. I don't know. But somebody here is maybe lacking financially. I feel like this is somebody that... um doesn't they didn't keep their promise with you here i feel like something has been really stagnant for a while and whatever this is maybe your love life has been stagnant all right i feel like your focus has or or this is your person flip and switch it but somebody's focus has been on love here and the other their finances that's what i feel because somebody is lacking in that department and also inside too but uh the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that's very unreliable, they're undependable, and they're not stable. So this could be your love interest that's going through this here or somebody else. The Knight of Pentacles also in reverse is, it could be somebody is money hungry or like a player type of person. But Knight of Pentacles in reverse uh, could be, somebody could have gambling problems or some type of addiction to money in a certain type of way. But let's see. What, what's love here? What's this love card about with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, yeah, Three of Cups. 
Yeah, I feel like somebody here wants to reconcile with you, Aries, or something like that, but they don't have the funds to do it. I also feel like whatever is holding somebody back from embracing this love that you and, and someone else has is friends and family and shit like that. It's, there's other influences here. There could be people that is using you, that are using you. This is why somebody is lacking financially because there are people around that somebody's priorities are fucked up. With the three of cups and knight of pentacles in reverse, somebody's priorities are not. They, mm, I feel like this person here is in love with you. They know that you're soulmates, but they are um trying to ignore it. But they also somebody here needs to grow up though. <laughs> Most definitely need to grow up. What's love here for Aries? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I told you it was about money. Okay, this person. I feel like somebody is spending foolishly too. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I don't know if it's you or someone else. But yeah, the Ten of Pentacles here. They, there's something financial coming towards you here, Aries. Or you could be dealing with, like I said, a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn. But there's something coming. And I feel like there's going to be some type of celebration. But somebody is not ready. I feel like they're they're unreliable right now. You can't really depend on them for too much because they can't take care of themselves. So, who is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, Six of Swords. Yeah, this person here, you could be moving away from this person, but I feel like this Knight of Pentacles in reverse is trying to get their life together. They're moving away from something or somebody, maybe else, or I don't know, but definitely um, travel. This person could be traveling or moving, or this is you. To calmer waters here that there's a resolution to it to a problem okay there's there there's something here that's going to be resolved all right yeah seven of swords somebody intuitively with the high priest of seven of swords you know that somebody's lying or something like that about something or keeping some type of secret yeah but this person i feel like wants to offer you something so there's this ace of pentacles is is either a new career a new job some of you guys are actually moving into a new home okay this is where most of your money is going so you don't really have time for love or this is this other person but there's new money coming in for you here it looks like there's a financial blessing or this is just like a big ass engagement ring or something that's solid here some of you guys could be meeting somebody out in public or, or at a party or something like that. And it's going to be a gift sent from the divine here with the Ace of Pentacles. But it's something that's solid. A solid foundation could be built off of whatever this Ace of Pentacles is. So let's see. What is soulmates here for Aries? Yeah, the high priestess. Yeah, somebody knows that you are their soulmate. And you, you could possibly feel that this is coming here. Okay. There's a deep spiritual um, bond that you have with someone. But maybe your soulmate here could be keeping secrets or anything like that. But let's see. What is soulmates with the high priestess? Yeah, Knight of Cups. Yep. I feel like this is somebody trying to listen to their intuition and come towards you for a, um, um, a relationship <laughs> or a date or something. This is a romantic proposal, romantic gesture here. All right, but there's definitely movement, though. Somebody, you know... You're moving towards a very, uh, I feel like it's a very spiritual connection. This could be somebody new, though. This could be somebody new with the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. This could be somebody new. It doesn't have to be past. I feel like you're moving away. If this is you, if this is um, not your person, it's you. You're moving away from somebody that you can't really be with right now because they're not ready. So you're getting new. What is the High Priestess with the Knight of Cups? Listen to your intuition when you meet people here, Aries, is what it's telling you as well. Yeah, the Hierophant, look, I'm telling you, it could be a Taurus you're, you're going towards or you're dealing with, or this is just you. So this is a very spiritual person, whoever I'm pulling in. Okay, yeah. There's going to be definitely somebody coming towards you to be with you here, to wine and dine you, to really um love on you, it looks like. Yeah, you're very um, desirable at this time. So people here want you, Aries. <laughs> okay, period. But yeah, so this looks nice. I'm not going to keep clarifying it because what the hell? <laughs> There's a relationship coming. There's a high level commitment coming with the soulmate. So 
Yeah, marriage. Ace of Pentacles right beside the Hierophant. Yeah, somebody could be proposing to you here, uh, Aries. Or something like that. But somebody wants a long time. Yeah, so let's see. What is Owl? Deep Shadow Work. Witchcraft, Magic, Inner Wisdom. Yeah, look, the Empress. Another Taurus or Libra card. You could be strongly be dealing with the Taurus. I swear, y'all readings be connected. Yeah, you are definitely a divine feminine here. You have really, really came a long way, Aries. You really have done a lot of deep shadow, <clears throat> deep shadow work here. You, you've dealt with your karma. So now good things are coming towards you in love. Okay, your love life could have been very hard. You could have been dealing with a lot of stupid ass people. But I don't know. Something here is going to really, really work out. Maybe you needed to move away from somebody that was money hungry or something like that. But now somebody's trying to... Either it's this person or it's you. Somebody trying to get their finances together, it looks like. But some of you guys are getting promoted at a job. There's going to be a celebration or a party of some sort. An office party or something. But let's see. What is Al for the, with the Empress? Okay, the Hangman in reverse. Could be dealing with the Pisces. The hangman in reverse could talk about being discontent. Or this could just be you removing yourself. What's this hangman right here? What's the hangman in reverse for Aries? Hangman in reverse. I feel like, you know, let's see. Okay, the six of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're removing yourself from something here, uh, Aries. You're detaching yourself from something. You've done the work. So this hangman in reverse is just talking about you detaching yourself. Okay, and coming back into balance. Whatever this is that was keeping you stuck, now you're you're getting ready to receive the, the rewards, okay, of, of doing the work that you needed to do to remove yourself from a situation or from someone that was keeping you stuck or stagnant. I feel like you're releasing yourself from it. I do. What else for Al? One more. One more for Owl. Yeah, and you you know what? The Seven of Swords. <clears throat> Somebody here, because the, the Hangman in reverse could also mean um, Somebody here is getting paid off something that you do. So if you if you are like a high priestess or a spiritual guru or something, they're copying off of you and they're doing it behind fake pages and shit like that. They're doing something online to get patronized for something that you do. So the empress, the high priestess, they're very beautiful. They're very powerful. Some of you guys could be getting a lot of attention and you do online work. And this person, or whoever this is, they are doing something in the shadows here. You're very spiritually inclined here, Aries, in this person. Or this could be a Taurus, okay? A Taurus could be cross-watching or something. And it could be an Aries doing it, flipping switch the roles. But I feel like somebody's getting paid for something here that you do. So it's like somebody's scamming people. There's a scam or something like that going on here. What is this, Seven of Swords? I also feel like... You're detaching yourself away. You're removing yourself from somebody here that keeps running away from you. Like this person keeps lying and shit like that. And you're just tired of dealing with that shit. I feel like you've given to this person or somebody's lying about giving to someone else. And they're detaching themselves to come back to you here. They're trying to sneak away. Yeah, what's this seven of swords? Yeah, the seven of cups. You guys could be seeing um seven, seven, seven or 77 could be significant. Mm. Somebody could be doing some magic or something, but let's see. What else for the Seven of Swords with the Seven of Cups? Yeah, Eight of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Wands talks about communication, but I feel like there's some confusion about something that's being hidden or there's something here that you already know that's going on. But somebody here is trying to cause confusion or illusions and something. They could be sending shit your way. What's this? Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands. Yeah, the Fool. Yeah, so I feel like oh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or, or another Aries. But 
yeah somebody yeah eight of cups i feel like somebody's walking away from a situation but there's been a lot of uh, lies or or confusion here and feeling discontent in a situation i feel like somebody has really tried to steal something or they're out of line they're lying about something here about who they're giving to or <clears throat> i don't know but I feel like somebody's trying to sneak away from something for a new beginning with you or this is you trying to get away from this person or, or move away from something. Some of you guys have a lot of options. I feel like things are taking off for you positively, but somebody is definitely trying to copy off your work or do something that um, is yours. So really protect your work here, copyright your work or maybe watermark it or do something. But yeah there's a new beginning there's somebody that wants to take a leap of faith there's definitely some travel involved here somebody somebody also is refusing to change their ways somebody is very um just stupid but anyways what's the moon right here listen to your intuition intense emotions yeah look ace of cups i told you some of y'all are getting new love here Whoever was trying to keep you stuck or whatever this decept deceptive, confusing energy is here, I feel like um, you're getting new love. You're, you're moving away from it. Um, like I said, proceed with caution. So listen to your intuition. Don't just, you know, do whatever. But what, what else is I getting ready to say, man? Be sure to, um, Aries, what, these options coming towards you. I feel like you have options. You're moving, you're moving on. Some of these options are going to be a bunch of idiots. So really um, listen to your intuition. They could just be wanting you to give to them and shit like that because you're being blessed here. I feel like you're definitely being patronized for whatever you do and people see that. So people are going to want to come in and, and use you basically. So really um, listen to your intuition, but let's see. Yeah, the tower with the five of cups. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like somebody lost out on something. What's, what's the moon with the ace of cups here? the moon i mean yeah what's the moon with the ace of cups yeah nine of cups in reverse i i feel like um aries somebody here is upset you could be upset because maybe you didn't get what you wanted out of a situation you didn't get what you wanted so like what you actually really really deep down inside wanted i feel like something here was just a lesson for you um with the nine of cups in reverse Somebody here could be overindulging in liquor or or overindulging in something too. A lot of liquid here. So I'm getting liquor or something. But um, the Nine of Cups in reverse is definitely feeling discontent or unhappy or unsatisfied with something. You're very disappointed in something, but you're being blessed with something better, Aries. Listen to your intuition about whatever this is. Because right now you could be going through an emotional time where you feel very emotional but I feel like, yeah, happy birthday too, guys. This is your birthday month. Okay, happy birthday. But yeah, I feel like you're being blessed with new love here because your love life has been very stagnant or hasn't been going the way that you wanted it to go. You really didn't get the person you wanted or blah, blah, blah. Well, what's the moon for Aries? Yeah, the hermit. Yeah, you've done, yeah, this is you doing this deep shadow work here, this introspection here, really um, going within to figure out what you want. I feel like you're looking at something deeper Maybe you're not satisfied with these love options too. So you're going back in hermit mode. You're not really, yeah, I feel like you just want to focus on your money because if people are playing mind games or being very um, childish possibly. But let's see, what's what's this um, nine of cups in reverse? Nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, three of wands in reverse. Yeah, there's something from the past here, Aries, or 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 something like that that's holding you back. But the cycle is closing out. So I do feel like the emotions are intense because you, you're releasing something. You're trying to let something go. Yeah, because somebody here, I feel like is hiding something anyways. I really do. But I do feel like three of wands in reverse is like you just, there's something here that's, that's holding you back or like internally. Okay, you're needing to do the work here with the hermit to release whatever this is. What's this hermit right here? What's the hermit? Yeah, yep. Five of Cups. You could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. But yeah, it's it's you're you're trying to release something or or you're needing to. So that way you can move on and be blessed with something else, something better. 
okay because i feel like spirit is blessing you with something else because something didn't work out and i feel like you're very disappointed but you are you know things happen for a reason here aries and this was um just a part of your path maybe you were just supposed to learn something from someone it looks like someone that spirit brought into your life here to, to teach you something about yourself okay spirit guys angels for aries let's get some more messages yeah i feel like something is bittersweet yep so we have graduation it says congratulations you have graduated from a really difficult life lesson yeah <laughs> You can breathe a sigh of relief for overcoming your situation. This can also be an omen to confirm certification for completing a program, educational course, or personal goal. This marks the end of a cycle. You have made it to completion. So, yeah. Yeah, something here is over. It's closing out, and you're being blessed with something else here, Aries. You know, whether you like it or not. I know that sucks, but... Yeah, yep. Look, beginnings. A new a new dawn has emerged. This is a time to celebrate change, celebrate change, newness, and growth. Beginnings come in many forms. This could be a, this could signal a time for a new job, home, relationship, idea, or a creative endeavor. You have worked hard to get where you are. Stop to appreciate all the steps you took along the way. Yep, and then we have endings. Wow. The time has come to say goodbye. With every ending comes a new beginning. Let go. Trust that what happens is in divine order endings come in many forms this could be the end of a job career relationship cycle or life this signals an end to pain and suffering and an end to what no longer serves you yeah travel some of you guys are definitely moving i feel like emotionally your emotions here you're working through but there's travel or there's you're moving some of you guys are actually relocating too yeah so it's kind of bittersweet let's see what comes out in these cards since this is about love and a relationship Let's see what comes out. Yeah. Something about travel just came out again. I'm not going to take it. For Aries spirit. What else can we get for Aries? Clarify this spread for Aries. Yeah, tree. Growth and maturity. Past life connection. Long lasting. So I feel like some of you guys are going towards a past life connection, a soulmate here that could possibly be better fitting for you because maybe you were dealing with something else, okay? And it just it just wasn't right. It could be karma. It could have been a twin flame. Sometimes that shit doesn't work out either when they act an ass. <laughs> so like, yeah, you've matured. You've grown past whatever this is and it's just time to move on ship yeah this wanted to come out again a long distance travel foreigner waiting for love to come yeah I feel, you know i also feel like you're unhappy too with the three of wands you're not waiting anymore three of wands in reverse you're not waiting for something it does cause you great disappointment or sadness but you're not going to continue to let whoever this is um to keep holding you back i feel like somebody's causing confusion because they keep fucking lying and i feel like you're removing yourself they want to keep playing games but you're removing your energy from them and they probably don't feel like that because they're the ones doing the deep shadow work here they're the ones that are that, that have to go through whatever this is. Yeah, it says, well, effort required for reward. What you wish for is attainable. Careful what you wish for. Yeah. So you're going to get what you want. Spirit's going to bless you with something else, though. It's going to be what you want. It's going to make you happy. So that's the bittersweet. Maybe you wanted something really, really bad, and it didn't work out that way. Magnifier. Take a closer look. Analyze. Things are not what they seem. Mm-hmm. I feel like you've done that. <laughs> yes, yeah, stork, new love. Yep, starting again, progress, moving on, changes. I'm telling you. Rider, new lover, situation again. Arrival, moving quickly, news, in and out. Yeah, somebody has definitely been in and out with you here. They have, but I do feel like some, there's a new love coming into a situation. Make sure they're not in and out, okay? Use your intuition for this new love or whatever this is. I feel like it's still going to be a very deep spiritual bond that you have but it's just not going to be the person that you thought it was going to be that's what i'm picking up because everything is new here um aries yeah ace of cups ace of pentacles yeah so this was your reading guys i hope it resonated a like comment subscribe turn on your notification bell and i will talk to you guys later bye